Hey guys, welcome back. This video might be a little shorter uh, because the song is just one part all the way through. Um, I debated even just doing it because of the the length of the song, uh, but I love the song. Um, it is uh, originally transcribed on the piano uh, and I just sort of turned it into my rendition of the guitar. Um, it's uh, Damien Rice, Nine Crimes, and this song, the video, everything about this song uh, is just magnificent. It's just amazing. So I wanted to just take a couple minutes, uh, it's going to be short, um, and walk you through this. So the song is played really slow and really just the way I feel it anyways, uh, not in time. So like I, I, I just feel, and I might be wrong, but when I hear it and listen to it, I don't hear like a metronome. I don't feel like they recorded it to a met. I honestly, because it feels very artistic to me. Uh, it feels very genuine. It feels like it just it breathes very well, if that makes sense. So, um, when a song has those elements is why I'm drawn to it. So that's just me personally kind of spitting out how I feel and what I think. Uh, so you'll notice a lot of the songs I do are probably not conventional. They're not probably songs that are going to get me a billion hits, but it's stuff that really just rings true to me. And like the way I hear it and the way I feel it is how I want to present it. Uh, so when I learn a song, um, I sort of have that uh that intuition about hey this is how the song should feel or flow um, and that's what drives me to learn the songs that i do uh and that's what's driving me to teach you the songs that i play so um yeah that's just a little bit about how i feel so i'm gonna inch in close uh, i'm gonna show you the four chords that make up this song um i encourage you just to listen to the song and just play along with it and I think you'll feel what uh, what I feel or see what I see in the song. So um, there's just four chords, basically, that uh, that this song is made up of. So it's this uh, A7. Uh, it's the first chord. We're going to bring our fingers here. Um, but we're going to play it open and hammer on. So it's like an A minor, but we're going to hammer on. So it's going to go... That's the first chord. Then we're going to move up to this F, but we're not going to place this guy down, right? It's an F major, but we're going to let the uh, the G string wide open. So it's going to go. So just one, two, three, four. So. Then the next chord that we hear is C, but we're going to do it with that G root and we're just going to do the same so that's going to be so it's going to be the G this C place this guy here and then the open G string so might be hard to see and then the next chord is G but we're going to go G we're going to mute the B string we're going to hit open D, and then we're going to do a hammer on to the G right here. So it's, and that's where we start over, back to the A, to the F, to the C, open up. All right, one more time, really slow. going to kind of inch back and try to play it through just how it sounds so and like I said when I hear it I don't hear like it's so don't 
play it like a robot. Let it breathe between each chord. So that's it, and it just does that over and over again. But the way the vocal melody carries through the song um, and, and the changes, and I think the tempo just sort of sways and goes up and down and kind of fluctuates. So sometimes you might hear it. Into a. So yeah. Um, Music to me does that, right? So some songs you want to be recorded to a metronome, you want it to be very like precise and on point and on par. And when you delays and effects and other things like that, you're going to need that. But when uh, you have a song that's just a piano and just an overall harmony, um, like this song, uh, I think it's okay to let it breathe and let it walk and kind of uh, go where it goes. So it's going to sway and sort of flow, right? And um, even if it was recorded to a Met, they don't present it that way. So sometimes the chord might be sped up a little bit, like I was saying. Uh, and sometimes it might be just kind of slowed down or uh, accented a little different. So, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, enough rambling. I don't want to carry on too long. Uh, those are the four chords to that song in the order and how they're played. Um and again, I love this song, and uh, uh, I feel really good that uh, I got to share my little rendition uh, of it So, uh, with you. So I hope you enjoyed, and as always, um, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.